underneath the passenger side. Hello again, side today we're going wheel. to find uh, and repair the transmission approximately fluid underneath the control on the CVT on this 2006 so Nissan Murano. Uh, I will show you where the leak uh, was. The symptom that I've been having <coughs> is I've been having very small <coughs> puddles of clear fluid underneath the control arm area. So I will show you where the leak was. I'll show you what I was looking at and uh, seeing and I'll walk you through finding the leak and repairing the leak. Okay, so what I've done here is I've removed the uh, shrouds underneath the wheel well. So this exposes the area that in question. Now, if you can see, these, this drop right here and this drop back here. This is what I was seeing uh, underneath the car at parking stops. This is just some piece of trash. I don't know what that is. So I was checking the transmission fluid. At first, I didn't see anything, any uh, real difference. I didn't think I was losing any. And then after a couple of weeks, uh, I definitely lost some. In fact, I just had to have, add about one and one half quarts of CVT fluid. And uh, so because of the, where the drip was coming all the way back here, um, I learned a long time ago, if you have a drip that far back, it probably comes forward of that and up because of the wind and so on and how the car drives and everything. So I came over here and I see this is the cooler for the CVT fluid, okay? This is an, called an oil to water cooler. And what happens is the car actually pumps coolant through one pair of these tubes. There's another one back in the corner. You can't see everybody in the video. There's another tube back here. Uh, here you go. There's the fourth tube there. So two of those tubes are for coolant and two of those tubes are for CVT fluid, okay? So it helps keep the CVT at least as cool as the engine, uh, as the engine temp. And then these, I believe, are actually the other lines that feed the transmission fluid, the CVT fluid, out of the CVT and up through the cooler and then back again. Uh, I haven't looked deep enough. It looks like there's actually another cooler in addition to that cooler I just described to you. So this cooler actually goes and feeds the coolant, or feeds uh, the fluid into another cooler at the base of the radiator. So what you're looking at right now is the hose that goes into the base of the radiator. If we follow it back, as best we can here, I believe that's actually where the leak is coming from. I believe that this hose right here, change the lighting, here we go. I believe that's where my leak is, is where that hose connects there. When I take a look at this hose with the engine running, I'll be able to see any fluid actually coming out of that now. And actually, by the looks of that, that pipe actually does not look in great shape. To, uh, right there, it does not look good. So I'll probably start with the hose clamp, depending on where I see the leak actually coming from. But I may end up having to get this whole fitting here from the dealer. This bolt and angle there, we'll have to see how that goes. Okay, so because this this kept seeping fluid even after I sanded it down and I and I put the hose further up on here, this is just porous now from too much rusting right in this general area. So I decided to pull it off. This is how it was on the car, and this goes through there into that cooling block. So this is a banjo bolt. This is the banjo fitting. This banjo bolt is a is a 14 millimeter by 1.5 thread pitch. Okay, and the total length from the base of this head to the tip of the bolt is 27 millimeters. And then of course that means that the hole in this banjo fitting is a 14 millimeter hole. These parts are available on eBay this way, except you get a bolt and instead of having a curved fitting, you have a straight fitting that comes off with barbs that you can put your holes over and clamp it. But there's room on this car for that. Um, unfortunately, I'm in a situation where I can't wait for a piece because this vehicle has to be on the road again tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is I just went down to my local Napa parts store. Okay. I'm in a so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut this pipe off right here at the base of this flange. This new pipe will get inserted, will be drilled 
I'll have to drill that also. Drill it. This will be inserted into there, and then we're going to weld around this ring here. And then we'll have a barb off here again. I can reattach my new, uh, reattach my hose to the new pipe. So this is what we ended up with after cutting off the rest of the pipe and drilling through the center. Okay, so I've bored that out a little bit further. Then this is the other piece that I purchased. So this is going to go right in here.